guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be part two of my California road trip kind of tips. Um, part one was going through like all the kind of organisational stuff and accommodation, car hire, flights, all stuff like that. So I will leave the link to that below. Um, and today I'm going to talk through basically what I did in each place and if I was going to LA, what I would do, if I was going to San Francisco, what I would do, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to get straight into it. And I don't think I mentioned in my last video, I have my Los Angeles top on, so yeah, I just thought I would mention that. It's from Victoria's Secret, and I love it, it reminds me of LA. So yeah, I'm in the right clothing to do this video, so let's just get started with it. Um, now my tips for actually going on a trip like this, where you're going to like loads of different places, make the most of it, you want to write down basically what you want to do at each place. So you're going to like, you know, do some research online, Google, obviously you'll have, an, you'll have an idea in your head what you want to do in each place, but you know, write it down, especially if you're going with someone else, you know, you have to like agree on what you want to do in each place, work out how long roughly it's going to take you to do those things, and then you will know how long you want to spend in each place. And that's how we did it, and then we then booked accommodation from there. A lot of people said, oh, you know, book the accommodation when you get out there. But for me, it worked out, for both of us, it worked out much better to just, like, work out how long we want to stay in each place, from what we want to do, and then book it from there. And I'm so glad we did do that because it just made it a lot easier. So, LA. We spent ten nights in LA. Six at the beginning and four at the end of the trip. Um, and LA was probably my favourite place. LA and Las Vegas, but Las Vegas is only a very, like a holiday place, you know. Like LA, I would love to live in LA. Um, it's just, you know, it's called the City of Angels and it really is like the City of Angels. It's just so beautiful. There's so much going on and um, I have a cold by the way, I'm not crying. <laughs> um, I have a really bad cold, so sorry if that's annoying, but yeah, LA was amazing. I totally fell in love with LA and the surrounding area because there's just so much really close to LA that you can do as well. So, LA, we went to Santa Monica Pier. Everyone's heard of Santa Monica Pier. If you watch 90210, then you will see it all the time and, and <laughs> I love 90210. Um, so yeah, I will I will insert um, photos along the way as I talk about each place. I will try and insert a photo of it if I have it um, so, so you can actually see it. Um, but yeah, we went to Santa Monica Pier one day, which is really, really fun. It's just like a pier and there's lots of things on it and there's like a beach. Um, I mean, there's beaches all the way around Los Angeles, um, but that is one of them. And I definitely think you need to go to Santa Monica um, when you go to LA. And Malibu was another place we went. And Malibu is just up the coast, um, going north. It literally is like, like 10 miles away from LA, but obviously it takes longer in the car when you're driving. It takes ages to drive anywhere in LA. Um, but Malibu is stunning. But there's so many different beaches in Malibu as well. Like it's really spread out, and that's where like all the celebrities have beach houses and things like that. So Malibu, definitely need to do it. Um, now Starlines tour, um, that is like kind of Beverly Hills tour. Like Starlines are the people that do it. Um, I will leave the links to everything that I'm talking about below, um, so you can check it out for yourself. But yeah, Starlines, they go around Beverly Hills houses and um, round kind of Hollywood. And it, it, it sounds like kind of cringy and like a very touristy, cheesy thing to do, but I absolutely loved it. Like, I'm in love with like, <laughs> let's get comfy here, <laughs> um, like celebrities and that kind of life. So, you know, it really was something that I really wanted to do. So all of you might find it cringy, but I loved it. You don't see much of the houses, to be honest, though. You, like, see their walls and their gates and stuff. But, yeah, a lot of them are very much gated and hidden. But the, the tour is really good. I, 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 uh, it lets you see a lot of LA as well. Like, you go right up into the Hollywood Hills and you see amazing views. You see the Hollywood sign. And, yeah, it's really, really good. I, I would definitely recommend doing it. You see Marilyn Monroe's house. Like, honestly, so many. And it's really, really good. Um, but you can also combine that because where you where you you can get picked up from your hotel um, in a shuttle bus, and then you get taken to the place where they actually take you on the tour, um, and that is in right in like Hollywood Boulevard. So you see like the Walk of Fame. So you can combine doing all that at the same time. And the Walk of Fame is good though, but it's so busy that you don't like you're just constantly looking at the ground to like read the names and like it, it's just so busy it's like an hour to get photos and stuff but it's definitely like you know it's worth a look we also went to do a drive we went 
there like both times that we went to LA because we just loved it so much or <laughs> it was just like so amazing like but it's not even that like you like we went there for like lunch and things and you would think it'd be really expensive but it wasn't obviously the shops are expensive but um yeah it was definitely an experience like I just oh that is like literally where I want to shop like I know everyone says that but literally it just felt like home <laughs> I hope it is home one day. It's just so so nice. You have to go there like if you go to LA and it's also very close to the Beverly Hills um, sign. They have this like big sign at the entrance of Beverly Hills and it's got like lilies. It's like this big pond with this sign. It's got lilies in the pond and it's just really really pretty. Um, so yeah you can combine those two at the same time. So we also went to this place called Roma Cafe and it's in North Hollywood um, and I would just definitely definitely recommend going there. I think it's called Aroma Cafe or Aroma Cappuccino Cafe or something. Um, it's so good, it's just like an amazing little cafe where you can get amazing smoothies and breakfasts and lunch and honestly, like, I know like, you know, there'll be probably a million cafes like that, but it was just so nice. It was just amazing, just honestly. If you go there, I will leave the address below so you know exactly where you're going, pop it in your GPS. So, hikes, there's a lot of hikes in LA. We went, we did the Runyon Canyon hike and we did the hike up to the observatory. So both give you amazing views of the city. The observatory is like where um, they do like all like astronomy and stuff and look at the stars. And um, we went there for sunset and to the observatory and it was just so, so pretty. You get really good sign, uh, views of Hollywood sign there. Um, and then we went to Venice Beach which is really, really good. That's really near Muscle Beach and it's very, very kind of more hippie and they have a lot of marijuana signs everywhere. So it's got that kind of vibe. Um, and I said it's really close to Muscle Beach. And we went there one night for a um, sunset and we then went there again in the daytime. Um, it's just a really, really cool place. There's like graffiti everywhere, but it's like really cool. Um, and then for shopping, we went to the Grove and the Beverly Centre. And both are really good, um, really nice shopping centres, as you can imagine, with all the shops that you could ever need. Um, so that was um, LA. And there's just so much more I could tell you, but this video would be so much longer. So, Pacific Coast Highway, we went that way to San Francisco. The Pacific Coast Highway is one of the most beautiful road kind of trips that you could do. Um, and that goes, you would go that way to go to Malibu and Santa Barbara. We stopped in Santa Barbara, which is stunning. Again, it's another kind of celebrity hotspot. And um, we stayed in Morro Bay, which is very kind of more quiet, um, but it's lovely again. And then we went to Carmel, which is so, so beautiful. Um, it's very kind of more for, I'd say, slightly older people. and. It's just, it's just really, really pretty. It's like a really quaint little cute town. And from Carmel, you can do the 17 mile drive to Monterey. And um, that's going along the Monterey Peninsula. You have to pay to do it, but it's such a stunning drive. It's not like expensive, it's probably like $10, I think it was. Um, but you just go through like the most stunning, stunning beaches. Um, so we did that. And then in San Francisco, there was a number of things we did. We stayed there for five nights. Um, and we did like all the kind of touristy things. We went to Pier 39, which is a kind of very famous pier. Um, and we went to Fisherman's Wharf, which is going, it's all along the harbour. So there's, there's like a lot of piers and they're all numbered, obviously. So Pier 39 is the famous one. And then Fisherman's Wharf is another famous kind of area. Um, and then we went to the Golden Gate Bridge. We cycled over the Golden Gate Bridge. I would definitely recommend um, hiring a bike if you're going to do that. Like, oh my god, it's so good. I am not like a fitness person at all, but it was a well, lot easier than I thought it would be. And everyone does it. Like, there was just about a million bikes cycling over the bridge. Um, and sometimes it is a little bit difficult because it's so busy <laughs> trying to get your bike over. But it was fine. It was really, really good. Um, Alcatraz, we did Alcatraz, which definitely recommend. It's like the most infamous prison in the world. Um, and they tell you a lot of creepy, creepy stories. But yeah, definitely do not miss Alcatraz. And um, we went up um, Coit Tower, which is, um, you can do the walk, but we actually drove right to the top and then got out and we went up this kind of tower and you see like really good views of San Francisco. And we went to Union Square and that's where we discovered the Cheesecake Factory. Definitely do not miss that. The Cheesecake Factory is amazing. It's all over California though. There's like one everywhere. Um, 
and Golden Gate Park. We didn't see too much of that, but it's huge. So if I was going back, I would definitely go back to Golden Gate Park. Um, High Ashbury is the hippie area in um, in San Francisco. So you know, you can imagine again, it's like marijuana signs everywhere and um, just very, very hippie and you know, that kind of vibe. Um, but really, really interesting, like so many interesting people and things to see there. Um, now, on the way to Vegas, we stopped in Barstow, which is the home of Erin Brockovich. Amazing movie, I, an amazing true story. So yeah, we had to do that. We had to stop in Barstow, get a picture. There's nothing there. It's just a very small town, um, nothing exciting. But um, we just had to do it, get the get the, the picture with the sign. Um, and then when we actually got to Vegas, um, we stayed there for eight nights. Um, we didn't actually use our car though. Like you don't need a car when you're in Vegas because it's just like there's stuff everywhere. That you know, it's like everything's so close. Um, so we went to, we did go to see hotels, our hotel was huge in itself, had gondolas and everything in it because it was Italian themed, um, but other hotels that we went to see were like Caesar's Palace and the Bellagio, um, and we went to, um, there's like two kind of shows in Vegas, not shows, but like things that happen on the strip that you don't have to pay for, it just happens, <laughs> and that is the volcano erupting outside the Mirage and then the fountain going off at the Bellagio, so I would definitely recommend seeing both of those, as I say you don't pay, you just stand and it, ha like it happens every Every 30 minutes. Um, now we went to a pool party, we went to rehab pool party which is in the Hard Rock Hotel. I would definitely recommend that one. Um, it was just really, really good. It was 4th of July so like it was buzzing. Definitely check out a pool party when you're in Vegas. It's like the thing to do and they're so so good. Even if you think you wouldn't like it, you will. Um, now we went to two um, clubs, we went to Surrender Nightclub which is in the Encore Hotel and we went to Tail which is also a restaurant it's really good if you're going to go to Tail which is in the Venetian um, you go for dinner first and then you go to the nightclub because you get free entry and they stamp your hand and things and they just let you into the nightclub and it was really good, Chloe Kardashian was actually there when we were there um, she like walked right behind me because when she was having, she had dinner and then she went to the club um, so yeah it was really really good that was for the 4th of July as well so um, the clubs are amazing and there will always be something um, now we went to Fat Tuesdays Fat Tuesdays is another thing in Vegas I don't know if you get it anywhere else but we saw a few in Vegas and basically it's like a kind of takeaway drinks place like alcohol you go in and you order your cup size um, and they're really weird shapes and then like you order your it's kind of like an alcoholic slush puppy um, and you just like walk about the street with it, you don't like sit in and drink it, um, so that was fun. Um, casinos, I only went to one casino and it was just one on the strip and I only put in four dollars but I got, um, I won 47 dollars so yeah, but I know when to stop so that is the key. Um, the Grand Canyon is really close to Vegas but what I would say is definitely do a tour. Don't drive, we were going to drive but it's just so much better getting a tour because you get the history of Vegas and they also take you to like this little um, well yeah the the actual Grand Canyon you get a ticket and it takes you to this little like wild, wild west village um, and I rode a horse there and there's just lots of fun things to do and the actual Grand Canyon was amazing. Um, we didn't do the skywalk though because you're right next to the skywalk so you have to pay for that separately so we didn't do it because we felt like we were seeing what you would see on the skywalk anyway. Um, the Hoover Dam, you also get taken to the Hoover Dam when you do the tour, so I'll leave the link to the tour thing that we used because it was super, super good. Um, and there's also the world's largest golden nugget um, in Vegas, it's, in, it's actually at the Golden Nugget Hotel. Um, I would also say that when you're actually on the strip you're not in Vegas. I know, it's weird. Um, it's actually called Paradise City. Actual Las Vegas is on Main Street, I think it's called. Um, so if you want to actually say you've been to Vegas, you actually have to go down to the old town of Vegas where like the Golden Nugget Hotel and things are, but all the new hotels and things are on the Strip which isn't actually part of Vegas, um, so that's a fun fact for you. Um, Red Rock Canyon, we went there on the way to San Diego, um, it's a really nice kind of natural, um, or national Saudi conservatory or something they call it, um, it's like a red, it's all red rocks basically, as surprising as the name signs. So that's really interesting, really, really amazing kind of views and things. Um, San Diego, we we went to La Jolla Beach, Mission Bay. Um, they're both stunning, stunning beaches. San Diego is so pretty, it's really, really nice. It's right next to Mexico, um, so very hot and just really, really nice beaches. Um, 
and San Diego Zoo, that's like one of the most famous zoos in the world, we went there, um, it was about $50 I think for a ticket, which wasn't too bad, and we spent the whole day there, and there is amazing animals, it, the tiger though, we couldn't really see the tiger, which I was really disappointed about, because that's one of my favourite animals, but um, yeah, also I'd say the gas lamp for restaurants and bars um, is amazing, it's very kind of, um, packed I would say like there's a lot going on it was very very busy and I would say they'll like look for where to go rather than go and then try and find somewhere um kind of an idea of where you're going we didn't go out out there we just went to like restaurants and things and um, but that is like the kind of the nightlife area it's called the gas lamp in San Diego now on our way back to LA we went to Laguna Beach and Huntington Beach and Laguna Beach was obviously where the hills started so that's where they, you know, Lauren and Heidi and Adrina, they all lived in Laguna Beach before they went to, the, to um, LA and filmed the hills. So that was nice, although the cloud, it was actually quite cloudy that day. I think with LA you obviously assume it's going to be sunny every day and it just wasn't like that for, um, for us for a lot of days. It was actually really cloudy in the morning and then the sun would come out. So just be aware of that, you just assume because it's a sunshine state that you're going to get like sun all the time, but you don't. But it was fine, like we, we did get a sun a lot, I did get a good tan, but I'm starting to lose it now, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, definitely check out, like there's just so many beaches and so many places along the coast. Spend a lot of time on the coast, I would definitely say that. Um, now Vegas, actually, I just wanted to, I totally forgot, I had a couple points about Vegas. Um, one of them was just do not pay to get into clubs. Um, the like there is dodgy people in Vegas and they will try and like you know approach you people in the street will try and approach you to pay to get into clubs don't do it there is no need to do it you if you there'll be people like probably tweeting you and things if you if you're posting that you're in Vegas and they'll want to get you into clubs free so you you don't have to pay honestly just like contact the club promoters and they'll get you in for free do not do any deals on the street because we did and we got totally scammed um, and there is just be aware of creeps in Vegas there are a lot of creeps out there we did get approached by quite a few and some of them are quite dangerous so honestly I don't say that as a joke I do say that to be aware of the creeps but apart from that <laughs> to end on that note um I like had an absolutely amazing time I honestly think it's it's the best holiday I've ever been in my life and um yeah I just can't wait to go back I honestly can't wait we're already planning the next 4th of July um, in Vegas so yeah it was amazing just let me know though if you have any questions because I went through that so super quick um, I will try and answer them um, and I'll leave part one and um, the link to part one um, in the description box below so definitely check that out and yeah I hope you enjoyed this and hope you're inspired to go to California you will not regret it okay I will leave it there and I'll see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.